Explaining Microsoft's Open Value Volume Licensing Program. This is John. John is the CEO of a company with 100 employees. He wants to invest in new software. So his IT manager, Frank, tells him about Microsoft's Open Volume Licensing Series. These are particularly suitable for small to medium-sized businesses and fall into the following programs. Open License, Open Value, and Open Value Subscription. They are based on the three options, Purchase, Spread Payments, or Subscription. First, John looks into the Open License model. Here, a one-time payment buys you unlimited rights of use for a software. John thinks that's pretty good. But from his perspective, it may not be ideal. With open license, you always have to pay the fee for these licenses up front in a lump sum, which is not ideal for his liquidity. Furthermore, it's hard to foresee how many licenses and updates he'll need in the coming years. Then he learns about software assurance. With software assurance, he is entitled to all updates for the software released during the two-year open license agreement period and to benefits such as technical support. Now, that's more like it, John thinks. But then there's still the problem of having to purchase the right to use licenses one by one. So getting and managing license purchasing would be relatively labor intensive. That's why there's the open value solution. With open value, the license is provided with software assurance, even including training courses. And it's all valid for the entire three-year open value agreement period. Plus, the complete license doesn't have to be paid for all at once. It can be spread out over three equal annual payments. This protects John's cash flow and makes his budgeting much easier. If John wanted the whole company to use the software, he would take advantage of the benefits from the Open Value Company-Wide Program. By standardizing the desktop PCs, he gets rebates and price protection. Plus, it makes the IT departments work easier. The third license program, Open Value Subscription, offers an affordable alternative to spread payments. Here, you don't purchase the software. Instead, you subscribe it. Consequently, John's monthly costs are much lower. The subscription option also offers a high degree of flexibility. If the number of employees in John's company changes in the future, then his subscription fees will simply be adjusted at the annual due date, depending on how many licenses are needed at that time. If more PCs need to be used short term, there won't be any additional costs, provided that the total number of users by the due date hasn't changed. This reduces the costs of seasonal fluctuations in the number of employees. With all these facts in hand, it's a snap for John to make his decision. By going with open value, he simply can't go wrong. The Microsoft Open Value Licensing Program. For more information, visit microsoft.com slash licensing.